Hello, and welcome to the deepest, darkest dungeon of Dengar Tower. Um, this is not your ever lovable host, Brad Harmer Barnes. This is, in fact, Dave the Bloke. And we're going to be talking about indie superheroes. So, this is not your DC or Marvel speciality comic stuff. This is miniatures agnostic gaming. So, these are sculpts that have been made for independent games. You can make up your own rules for them. You can give them your own powers if you like. You can play multiple systems with them. You could probably work them into Marvel and DC games if you somehow could make up your own cards for them. I'm sure it's online somewhere. Have a look. These have been sent to us from a company called Kitbash Games, who make high quality resin superheroes. They do have one other range at the moment, but we're talking about superheroes. Uh, they've very kindly sent us some samples so we can have a look at. They have their own system that they're working on at the moment. These ones come with cards, and the cards allow you to play two different systems. Uh, one of them is called Super Mission Force, which uh, I personally have a book for, because I've played this before. Uh, so this, you see, is available online to download, or you can get a hardback. Uh, I always prefer the hardback myself. Uh, let's have a closer look at some of these miniatures and see what we can come up with. So, we have the... Uh, two teams. So the good guys are called the Vindicators, and this is the captain of the Vindicators, the leader. There we go. Look at that. This is Professor Quantum. That's a nice sculpt. That's pretty funky. So he comes with two cards. One of them for Super Mission Force. There, yeah, like that. With all the information to play the game on there. Yes, yeah, Super Mission Force. Da -da -da. Um, you also get one for a game called Pulp City. Now, I don't know this one, I don't play it, but again, it's one of those miniatures agnostic games where you can create your own characters for the game. You don't have to take what you're given, you can just make it up as you go along. Uh, so, also in the Vindicators, we have uh, Cal. We have, let's have a look at this one. This is Enrage. It's a really nice, really nice miniature. So, not at all based on a miniature from a, a very expensive IP. Not at all. No, no, no. Let's have a look at his card. Enrage. He's blue. He's not, not green at all. And he's an N particle driven rage monster. Okay, we're going to call him H-Rage from now on. And just put him back there. And hope the IP goes away. Let's have another note. So we have Lightning Bug. Don't use a rubbish old camera to film stuff, kids doesn't work okay so this is lightning bug there's another nice sculpt there's a buns of steel there mm, there you go yeah less said about that ip the better let's put that down okay so we have what we have one multi-part miniature on this you can see uh, so this is the arrow and she has you've got a leg and arm you've got a glue on there uh, this, this is actually a bit of flash here the thing i like most about these miniatures is there isn't a lot of flash. Flashing comes from the moulding process, and by the time you get these, they're mostly clean, so it's very rare to get that, and that's that's really nice. There's nothing worse than having to clean a miniature for an hour before you paint it. Um, okay, so this guy is called Stormfront. He's the leader of Shadow Axis, the bad guys. I mean, if you're, if you're playing another game that isn't Super Mission Force, or even if you're playing Super Mission Force and you want to reinvent him you can call him whatever you like you can give him whatever powers you like that is the benefit of playing a miniature agnostic game creativity imagination <gasps> these things we've lost okay really nice uh, i love the costume and and uh, just you know just in general that's a really nice miniature really really like that one I'm gonna get some attention time uh, so he's there nice there you go nice colors his rules on the back there and we also have mayhem funky miniature it's nice uh, nice detailing on the uh, on the abs there so he's kind of a powerhouse but obviously not as powerhouse as h rage um, he's not gonna be able to kick his ass anytime soon uh, so this is big brain so not all beat him up characters this guy has obviously got some sort of psychic powers uh, if we can get a decent shot of him, I'm not sure he's going to focus. This is a very, very small miniature. So he should look like this. There's Big Brain, there's his Pulp City card. Okay, so we also have a big guy. We have 
Magman. Now there's a there's a hefty fella. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice nice looking sculpt. Pretty granity. And that's what I've got painted like. Ha <laughs> ha, good luck with that. And finally we have another multi-part miniature. Uh, this is the Red Queen. You can see he's got an arm to put on there. I would find the arm. See how tiny this is. Ray. Yeah. Tiny. Look how tiny that is. It's there. Okay, yeah, so that's that's mini mini. But um I have to say the, the socket that it goes in is, is quite well defined, so actually putting them together shouldn't be too much of a problem, which is nice. Um okay, so we've just got a couple of uh, couple more bits to show you. So this is icebreakers. This is we haven't got a card for this guy, and he's a fairly new release. We can get a focus on him. Again, look at that sculpt. That is superb. Really tidy. Really nice looking miniature. I like that. So I'm going to look forward to getting that one on the table. So hopefully we can get some paint on them. We can start getting them to look a bit like this. Uh, this is another one from the range, but this is from my personal collection. Will he focus? There he is. So we'll, we'll try and get them up to this standard and uh, get some pictures up online when they're done. Thanks for watching. Peace out.